Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use dies with um, a material called Craftex. And I'll be, we'll, we'll be making this bag today, this uh, luggage uh, gift bag. So what is Craftex? Well, you may have already um, known what it is without actually knowing the name. So I have a, a sample here, let's move that aside. So I have a sample here and if you have jeans um, with a brown patch on the back um, that's sewn on, that's basically what this is. So it's like a paper fabric. So it's like a paper cardstock, but it's also a fabric. So you can wash it. It'll go through the wash and you can sew with it. You can glue with it. You can make bags out of it like I've done here. Um, you could sew a bag with it as well. So you can cut this out with your dies. Um, as you can see, it works really well. It cuts through like butter. It's absolutely lovely. So um, today we're going to be making this gift bag and I've lined it with my new papers the tropical memories papers and I'll be showing you everything um, that you're going to be needing as we go along through the video and um, the die set we're going to be using is from my range simply made crafts and this is the landscape gift bag die and you get some really nice dies in here and um, so you can accessorize your bag up so um, if you want to go very simple you can just make a singular gift bag just as it is use the handles or you could use the holes these these holes here come separately they're not actually part of the main die and um, so that's one bag you can make another bag you can make is a beautiful gift bag a uh, handbag style so I absolutely love this one I have this one on permanent display and then the last one is we could make some luggage with it and you also get um buckle as well so if you want to add buckles and jazz it up really like luggagey then just go for go for it and you also get this beautiful luggage tag uh, it's one of my favorites and um you also get some labels as well that you can layer it up so let's get on with the tutorial because i really can't wait to show you how to make this gorgeous bag okay so let's get our dies out so we're going to be uh, using the biggest one first and then we're going to have to cut down our craft text to size. So I have um, a very large sheet here prepared. And I'm going to use my paper trimmer for this. I'm, I have a Fiskars Heavy Duty Bypass Trimmer. And I'll get that out in a moment. But I have not tested it on a regular paper trimmer. And I don't think I want to try. So um, if you don't have the uh, big industrial bypass trimmer. I call it industrial because it literally cuts things uh, just use a craft knife so let's grab the paper trimmer out Oops. okay I won't be able to get all of this on the screen so I'll just make sure that I have this in the right place Okay, so I have a big sheet here, and I'm just going to cut it down. So I've cut it to 12 inches that way, so now I just need to cut it down now to, I'll say, eight and a half, because I know that is going to fit through my A4 uh, die cutting machine. So I'll be using the uh, Crafters Companion Gemini today. And that's eight and a quarter, eight and a half. Okay, so all of these can be kept. I'm going to keep everything here. Um, I've got another one here ready for all of the um, accessories that we're going to be putting on there. So let's pop this away. Right, so here are my uh, plates here. So I'm going to be using the two cutting plates, the magnetic platform and the plastic shim. Turn that over. This will be my. This is where I cut, and this one is where I've accidentally cut. But this is actually my top plate. Right. So we're going to pop this down first. That's our craft text. Oh, I've put the die somewhere. Here it is. I'm going to have to use some tape for this. So let's grab the tape. There we go. So that should. Ah, no. Stay down. <laughs> right. Let's get this. Uh, squished let's make our sandwich right that should hold everything in place magnetic shim and top cutting plate right now feed that through your die cutting machine and then we can um, cut one more very 
very carefully moving, removing these. This is low tack uh, tape, uh, but you never know, especially after it's been through the Gemini. The Gemini um, has a lot of pressure on there, so you've got to be really careful taking your tape off. Okay, so that's the first one done, and it's gone all the way through. There we go. That's our waste. Not too bad. Okay, so this is one of our sides. So it it's done all of the score lines for you as well. So we can just fold those into place. Just like so. And this one gets folded the other way. Let's fold that one down. You probably won't even need a bone folder, but I would suggest using a bone folder anyway because then you're going to get a neater finish once the bag's put together so this can be a really durable usable bag so i'm really looking forward to using this one okay so that's our first side so cut one more and do exactly the same and then i'll be right back to show you the next steps okay so i've got my two pieces cut out there so let's move those aside so what well, as we're die cutting at the moment we're going to do the rest of um, the accessories so this comes with loads of um dies in here. I can't remember how many are in this one. Does it say? It should say 16 dies. So we're not using that one today. All the little ones are at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to be using, this is the luggage tag. This is the corner de with detailed stitching. If you want to add a buckle to your suitcase, you can do. There's a buckle um, die there. If you just want to add holes in, you can. And this tiny rectangle here is for this die. We want to make a window for the um, uh, for the I can't think today. Luggage tag. There we go. And this tiny circle here is to go with the buckle. Okay. Let's pop everything back so I don't lose anything. So the dies I'm going to be using is this one here. That's going to be the handle. This is going to be the luggage. This one is going to be our corner. And then we have some extra ones here for tags and, and other things as well. So you can add a sentiment onto that. Got a heart one. That's perfect for the handbag. And if you want to add frames, you can. Okay. Right, so let's get cutting. Um, we're going to need to cut two of these. We'll use this one after we have our two cut out. Pop that aside. We're going to need four of these. And we are going to need two of these. Right, so let's set everything up onto our thing. We'll see if we can fit on as much as we can. I'll have to do multiple passes because um, we're going to have to cut four of these. And two of these. So if I cut, leave this space here for another one of those. And then here we'll do the luggage tag. And then I do have another uh, spare piece of the Craft X to do the rest of the pieces. So let me cut everything out and then I'll be right back to show you the next step. Okay, I forgot to mention you need to cut an additional two of these, so you need to cut four of these in total because these are going to be part of our strap details, okay? Okay, so I've got mostly everything cut out now, so we can just cut out the window for this one. So I actually have the cutting plates for the Gemini Junior. These fit through the, um, the larger size Gemini that way, they feed it through that way, so saves me having to put a whole big A4 sheet through. So um, I don't actually have a Gemini Junior, I just use the smaller, plate, smaller plates and feed those through sideways. So where's the rectangle? Here it is. So position that right in the centre of the larger rectangle. Secure that down with tape. Put on our sandwich, exactly the same sandwich, plastic shim, magnetic sheet and the top cutting plate. So just feed that through like that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all cut out. So now I'm going to ink everything because we are going to do some gluing next. So um, I've cut two additional papers from Tropical Memories pad. 
and all the links for these will be down below this is one of my new uh, pads from my new collection for the traveling and it's a 12 by 12 paper pad and you get 24 single sided sheets and I just absolutely love all of the papers in there it's the beautiful pinks in there lovely and tropical and we have some cutouts as well so it's perfect for all your mini albums right so put these aside Need two of those so let's get on with the inking I have some vintage photo distress oxides there's no s on the end of that distress oxide let's quickly move everything aside so we're going to ink up all of these but I won't show you um, me doing everything so I'll just give you a quick example okay, so let's tuck this under and this under as well all the bits that we aren't going to be inking we're going to tuck under and I'll probably ink this separately so let's fold everything in there we go so we're just this is just the main square the rectangle so I have a round blending tool here this is also by Ranger we're just going to ink the size just to give it that distressed used vintage look just go around the edges just like that so hopefully you can kind of see there is a slight color difference I don't know if the camera is going to be picking it up if you feel as if you need a darker one this one's vintage photo and I have another one here walnut stain so I may just try the walnut stain on top of the edges on here so go around all of your edges all the way around and then just uh, briefly go around these edges as well mostly around this line here so go around those and then with your accessories these are going to be folded in half so it's up to you where you want to add your um, detailing so let's go around the edge or go around the center so I probably will move over to the um, darker one and for your photo photo we don't, we don't need that rectangle so for your corners exactly the same go around the edging this is going to make it stand up from um, just going to make it stand out a little bit more so you can see the details just like so so I'm going to switch over now to the Walnut stain, I think that might give us a darker um, look to it. Yes, that is. Yes, much better. Okay, we're in business. Right, so I'm going to do everything here and then I'll be right back again to show you um, how we're going to do our gluing. Okay, I just realised I've made a rookie mistake. I needed to have die cut these out on the reverse with the other side going the other way because we need to glue these together and obviously they're all the same direction so I don't have any more of these so I can actually reuse these and I can actually make um, a gift bag at, um, a gift bag from these papers so there's nothing wasted there right so let's do this the right way so I've chosen two other papers because I've used the two blue ones so let's do this the right way turn that over I'm going to cut two of them at the same time because it will still do the score the score lines on the bottom sheet. So we've got the white one, the white facing upwards. Grab our die. Okay, let's run this one through. Okay, so that's all run through now. of those cut out oh, that didn't that didn't go through because it was off the edge that's okay we can get those with our scissors there we go
Okay, so these should be the right way now, the right direction. Right, so these are going to fit exactly onto here. I'm not going to worry about any of these score lines because we don't need them because it's, it's going to fold in on itself and the score lines are there anyway. So we'll fold them as we fold the actual piece when it's all put together. So let's add some glue now. I'm going to be using Mod Podge in matte. You can buy these in smaller bottles and uh, just a decorator's uh, paintbrush there. So yes, you can buy them in multi-packs. Um, I do actually want to add that to my glue stash because I would love to try all the different types of Mod Podge. So I'm just going to go in the centre first. I've got glue along the edges here now and I don't really want it to ruin the other side. So I have got a little bit on there already. So I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. I may just ruin the top. One thing about Mod Podge is it's very messy. Another thing you can do is just add the Mod Podge to the um, A4 piece of uh, the the paper versions that you've cut out and then just stick that on the top. I might do that one with the next one and then I'll see which one works out better. Okay, so right, we're ready to stick one down now. Do your best to line it all up. I do have glue everywhere. Luckily a lot of that's going to be covered by the accessories that we're going to be putting on the top, the decorations. I'm just going to gently wipe that down. Okay, right, that's squishy squashy. Right, that's the first one done. We're going to have to leave that now to fully dry before we do anything with that. And if you do get any bit of overhang, just get your scissors and trim that off once it's dry. Right, so let's do the next one. I'm going to add the glue to the paper this time. And that should keep this top side here all nice. All day. Okay, right, let's get this top layer put on. Okay, that's the best I can get it. I may just have to do some trimming. Always have a little wipe or a cloth handy when you're using this just to wipe everything off as you go the one one good way of keeping everything clean and tidy is just to just keep wiping every time you've done a little job with the glue okay i think that is mostly all of the gluing done now so let's just press that down again okay so we're gonna have to leave those to dry off now and then i'll be right back to show you once it's dry on how we're going to finish up the, um, the gift bag. 
Okay, so it's almost dry now. Um, it is still slightly, it has that slight cold feel to it, so um, it's not fully dry yet, but I want to get folding before it's properly dry, just so that um, it's going to help it bend around. So let's gently fold all of our score lines, so that's just scoring, folding there. So it is lifting up slightly, so I can then just press here, hopefully you can see a bit of a shadow there but hopefully you can see I'm just pressing that in so do exactly the same on all of them just carefully bending over so that one had dried it's come off a little bit so we can just fix that with a bit of glue so that has come down so I'm just going to use a cosmic shimmer it dries super fast just add that to your lining bit here as well press that down and that's everything glued back together and on this one as well I'm going to have to do a bit of trimming because I didn't line it up properly so my scissors out ready so it's easier to work from this side where I can see where the overlap is. Just take your scissors and trim that down. There we go. that edge I'm just going to use a bit of my ink that was left over on the tool just to uh, ink that in just to get rid of any white edges okay so that's that one done so let's do exactly the same on the other one so this line here it does go in the other the other way okay so we're ready to assemble now I'm going to be using a glue gun recently purchased this one oh, it's dried that coming out <laughs> okay this is um, a cordless one so it charges up um, just with a, a USB just what you'd put in your phone so this would be the old style not the universal type I can't remember what it's called I have one here somewhere here it is so this is the new style this is the older style it's still quite slim Okay, so you just charge it up. It only takes a couple of hours. And then it's super fast heating up as well. And it actually came with 50 glue sticks as well. So it's absolutely fantastic. And it runs for around about half an hour. So I'm just going to turn it on. And then it's going to take around a minute to heat up. And it also has this thing that comes out there. So that should be ready to use in about a minute's time. Just while that heats up, I am going to line everything up because it's going to be a glue gun and I'm going to get like one chance to get everything lined up. I'm going to line up everything ready and then I'm going to clip it. Double check that everything is lined up. Okay, so all I've got to do now is just lift this up, glue, add my glue there, and then press that down. So let's see if it's heated up yet. It is, I can see it's already coming out a bit. So I'm just going to add just a bit of glue all the way down, quite close to the edge as well. do all that one-handed and then we can just press that down Ooh, a bit came out the side there just keep pressing that down as flat as you can 
some sometimes the glue gun can be a bit bulky if you don't want to do the, go down the glue gun um, route just use um, something like comic cosmic shimmer this may take a little bit longer to dry on the craft text but it will eventually work especially if you're using um, the clips to keep everything in place so I might have to add a bit more glue there the, the Mod Podge didn't quite take between the lining it's glued perfectly together but some of the lining is coming away from the edge so I just need to touch that up slightly and then press that down and then everything is in there perfectly and you can see some of the layers there already so I'm just going to go over when I'm done with some more Distress Oxide ink just to camouflage that together so we're going to do exactly the same on this side as well so do a test run first Press everything down. That's all going to fit together nicely. So let's add our glue again. good thing about this cordless thing is it doesn't heat it up as hot as it would be it's not a cold um, melt glue gun or a low temperature one um, it's kind of in the middle it still it still does give a little tiny little bit of a heat burn but nothing like one that you'd plug in okay let's get rid of all of these you can trim those off as well with scissors which I will do Okay, so you can see the layers all there still. So let's get our Distress Oxide out. I'm going to do this before I actually assemble the bottom together. Just bend it round the other way. I can see this isn't as nicely finished off um, as the other side, so I'm going to make this side the front of the, um, the luggage. Okay, so now we can fold these in, and because this is going to be our front, this flap here is going to be the last flap that we're going to put down. And it's going to be exactly like that. So I'm going to make sure when I glue it down, both of these edges are straight. So I'm going to add some glue just along here. And then some glue just along this edge here. And then press that down, make sure everything's square. my ruler here it is it's right next to me I'm use my ruler here it's got a nice flat edge here this is the Tim Holtz one I'm just gonna press that down just from the inside and um, yeah you can glue those down as well just add a bit of glue to the underneath side before you put this together okay this is really coming together now I'm really happy with that so leaving the glue gun out still Let's move on with the rest of the accessories. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is sort out the corner pieces first because then we will know where to put our lines. So it's all going to be worked out. Um, 
um, with that sort of spacing in mind. So I'm just going to add some glue. Um, And if these aren't dark enough, you can just go along and add some more just as is, just like this. This is going to make a very nice sturdy bag. Again, if you don't use the glue gun, you can just use this and uh, give it a bit of um, drying time. Okay, so those are the corners done, so now we can add these on. I'm going to trim off the top <clears throat> and the bottom once I've got it glued on. So I'm just adding the glue to the... Um, side pieces because I want it to be raised <clears throat> so I'm just going to pinch it very slightly before I press it down there we go oh I really don't like these spider webs things okay so that's the first one done Here's the second one that I've folded. I'm going to add that to the other side. Let's double check this doesn't want to come off. It's on pretty much okay there. I just need to add a bit more glue here. There we go. See, I've got some on my finger and it didn't burn me. There we go. Just heard my post box, so I've had a delivery of something. Exactly the same again, just pinch it slightly. Just going up to um, these as my guide, just for the spacing. I've got a bit of excess there. Might try and sort that out. There we go, that came off quite well. Okay, so I need to add some more glue here. Okay, it's up to you if you want to um, decorate the other side. For today's um, demonstration, I'm just going to be decorating the, um, the front. So let's turn this over and then we can cut these off. That's really coming together and oh, I need to tidy this one up. This one doesn't look too nice. Maybe the smaller scissors. Let's see. Yes, much better. Right. I may be running out of battery on this soon because I have used this a few times this week already. Okay, so let's quickly try and get the handles on. So here are our handles. So I'm just going to fold it just in the centre, not all the way to the end. And again, not all the way to the end. And I'm just going to curve this around. So we have a nice curvature to our handles. And they are going to stick on just like that. Now you can. It might look a bit funny like that. It depends. We can do what you want. I'm going to go with the spacing and then stick them on there. I'm going to do one at a time. And then press that down. Then while that sets, I'm going to turn this over and then do exactly the same. So I'm going to have to glue it from that way and then flip it over.
just so that they're lined up. There we go, that's really coming together. Now that's looking really good. Well, I'm loving this already. I'm going to have to add some more glue just in there. I'll probably go in with my Cosmic Shimmer just to get that glue down. Okay, we're on the home run now. Last of the handles. Exactly the same. Bend it round. You can add glue in the centre as well if you want that to stick. Okay, so here comes your lining up abilities. Okay, so I need to have this lined up with this one here. Because we don't want our hold all or luggage to have wonky misplaced handles. They want to be all lined up perfectly. Okay, so while that dries, I'm going to hold that in place with this thumb. That's pretty much dry now, it's not going to go anywhere. And then we're going to add some glue. Let's try it. Let's try add the glue from this way. And then I'm just going to line that up best I can with the front handle and press that down and there we go they should be the same height as well so that's a really nice bag it's coming together really nice so um going to keep this out. I'm just trying to make a decision here on here what I was going to do. Okay, I'm going to turn this off for the time being. And I'll come back to that because I need to make some adaptations here. Okay, this didn't come out all the way. Okay, so this is our back piece now. This is going to be our luggage tag and we have some score lines that go all the way around. On the one that I did the window, I'm going to leave the flaps on that one. And on this one, the backing piece, I'm going to trim these off there we go and then these are going to be um, stuck together but first I'm going to get a tiny bit of acetate ok this one is from Paper Mania and I do have some tiny little sheets if I can get into it, here we go. Okay. And these little squares will do is this is just an off cut. Keep all of your spare off cuts. You never know when you need a small one. Okay, I'm just going to line it up here and leave a little gap all the way round very tiny gap and then I'm just going to cut and trim that out okay that should be the right size now just to stick along here and some of it is going to poke out of there the shock these these are going to be quite sharp so I'm they are going to poke out, so I'm just going to round those off by just diagonally cutting around the corners. They should be less sharp now. I'm hoping you can see this piece of acetate. It's like working with something invisible. And I am going to use glue. You shouldn't really use glue with acetate because it can be quite static and spread your glue to places where you don't want it all over the acetate. And it's really hard to clean off, but just for um, this video, I'm going to use glue. Um, Alternatively, you can use very thin, double-sided sticky tape. Hopefully, I'm going to get away with it. Okay, that's down. And then I want that to dry completely. I did get a bit on there. Right, I'm going to leave that alone now. I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'll be right back to show you how we finish off the luggage tag. And we're going to attach it to our handles. Okay, that's all dried. So let's, uh, I haven't actually done this with a glue gun before. So let's find out whether this works or not. Alternatively, again, 
use one of the use uh, your other glue if you're not comfortable using a glue gun. Just gonna add it to that one first, and then line that up. Press down. I still got a bit of wiggle room here before it actually sets. That's working out okay. I mean, it is kind of creating a bit of bulk around the edges, so perhaps we'll tr experiment with this one. So that's our experiment done with the glue gun. Let's turn that off, and then I'm going to finish off with normal glue. If I can get it out. Okay, so it will come out of the edges. Just be careful not to get any of your sticky fingers on the acetate. <clears throat> Alternatively, you don't have to use the acetate. You can. This tag will work perfectly well without any sort of um, thing in there. It will work perfectly without the acetate. That's made a bit of a mess, so that's going to have to be clipped. Okay, that's going to have to be left to dry. Um, a little bit of the glue did come out, so I'm going to trim that off. And I'll clean that up the best I can once I've uh, washed my hands and got all this dry glue off my fingers. And um, this back piece here does need to be trimmed off as well. So just take your scissors. And then trim that off the back so we keep the hole at the front okay so let's pop that aside and then I'll be back in a few moments just to show you the finished project okay so that should have dried now so that's going to be our luggage tag and we're going to tie that onto the handle so I'm just going to use some garden twine here you can use some nice baker's twine that would look nice as well so I'm going to fold that in half and then feed that through the small hole Create a loop here and then feed this through there and then very carefully pull that because if you pull too hard you're going to rip through the hole and it will come off and then you won't have a hole then for your luggage tag. Okay so here is our tag now so we can now just tie this onto here. So my uh, twine wants to kind of curl around this way so I'm going to go with the way it wants to go. Now I'm just going to tie that on there. If you want, you can do a double knot. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough end. I'll give it a go. Yes, we just about did. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there is our luggage tag. So you can put anything in there um, that you want, a name or a sentiment or something like that. So I absolutely love how this has turned out. It's really uh, strong. It's really strong and sturdy and it's also perfect um, if you wanted to gift a mini album. I've made a mini album here using the portrait album die set. So it's got pockets. I haven't finished off decorating it yet. So it's got uh, pockets and um, I've used the same papers as well, the Tropical Memories. And I've got a side pocket here as well. There, so I need to finish decorating this off and then it's also got the uh, waterfall element at the back so let's pop these back in the pocket and then this will just pop inside there and you have a lovely mini album in a gift bag but you don't have to put a mini album in there you, you can put anything in there it's nice and sturdy so it will probably hold some nice candles or something heavy like that okay so if you like this project do give me a thumbs up do share this video if you think you um want your friends will like it and um thank you for joining me today and i'll see you next time